We are a group that believes that nobody should go to prison or die for our plant. The first time you guys met me was about three years ago. I came to you guys in a lot of pain over my father that the federal government killed. Now three years later, I'm fighting for all the prisoners and the defendants that he left behind. And I'm not going to give up. And I know that this, this whole march is based around freedom. So I thought that because we all have freedom right now, and some of us don't realize how sacred that freedom is. I know we've just implemented a lot of laws that can take away all of our freedom. Okay, so if we look on whose stage with me, we got Martin Nickerson here. Him and his two co-defendants, they're facing 30 years in prison. Okay, and we also got behind us, we got Michelle and Roland Gregg, who just because of jury nullification, that's your power to say not guilty if you think the laws are bad. Because of that, they just, they're almost to a point where maybe they don't have to go to jail for a plan. But there's some things that just not all of us can do, but everybody in our community. One, you can go to court support. You can do outreach for our prisoners because even though we're here right now, there's about 50 people that will never get to be here because they've been sentenced to life in prison for our plant. All right? Now, we've got all these laws that are in place right now that says that if we violate them, if we share medicine, if we do things like that, we can go to jail. And I noticed one thing here today that was not here over the last couple years, and that's all these police out here trying to catch us doing that. So if we know that nobody should go to jail for a plant, and we stand up and we get in trouble because I know some of our caregivers are not going to stop curing cancer, they're not going to stop medicating, they're not going to stop some of them, and some of us might break the laws out there. So if we know that nobody should go to jail for a plant, we stand up in the courtrooms and we educate each other about our right to say not guilty, we can fight these laws that could possibly turn us into prisoners. So soon the human solution, and we're asking a lot of groups out there to join us, are going to ask for some letters for the Kettle Falls Five and, and for Martin Nickerson. We also have Debbie and Josh out there. I don't know if you guys know them, but they are caregivers as well. They're just not here today, but they just got federally indicted. So while we have these state laws, we still have federal laws that says it's extremely illegal. So we all need to band together and get, get united. So I'm going to urge everybody to go to our Facebook or our, our website at www.thsintl. Right now, the Human Solution has just implemented a lot of structure and a lot of policies. We have a media team. We have our national media coordinator here. We have one of our members, Tony, here. Yeah. And we got a whole bunch of members across the whole nation. In fact, we're international. We just started a chapter in Kenya. Because even in Kenya, no, nobody deserves to go to jail or die for a plan. So you guys, please check out our website and talk to these defendants and um, know that their sacrifices that, they, that they've made are for all of us. So treat them like the heroes that they are and check them out.